number 14 wants us to sum up the first 12 terms of this series we have going. Now we can see it tells us even that it's geometric. So what are we multiplying by? Well, I can see I'm multiplying by a 2 here, but notice it goes from positive to negative, positive to negative. It obviously means we're multiplying by a negative 2. Now if we're not sure, we can simply take our second term, negative 18, divided by our first term, 9, and we can see that common ratio, the R value, is negative 2. Right? So we see that. We want to add up, and we can keep seeing that the numbers are getting bigger and bigger and bigger, so we can't add up forever. So we just want the first 12 terms. So it says, hey, the sum of how many ever terms you want, in this case 12, it's going to always be the first term times 1 minus R2, how many ever times you're doing it, 1 minus R. So we just need to plug in the formula correctly. So let's see. So, well, let's do the colon here. So the sum of the first 12 is going to equal the first term. What's our first term? Positive 9, right? This is going to get a little messy here. 1 minus what is our value? It is a negative 2. Now notice I put that in parentheses, okay? I put in parentheses. And then n is what? We want 12 terms, okay? all divided by 1 minus the negative 2. Now, this 1 minus negative 2, yes, we can go ahead and change that. That's going to be a what down here? It's going to be a 3. But up here, we got to be a little careful. You can't distribute that negative through because technically you'd be multiplying by negative 1, and exponents come first. So you got to be really careful here when you enter in the calculator. 9 times parentheses 1 minus parentheses negative 2, parentheses, raise caret to the 12th, parentheses. Get your answer, then divide by 3. Okay? Here's what I got when I did that. I got 12, negative 12,285. As long as you're careful with how you plug it in the calculator, you should be fine. Just follow the formula.